This thing means year-round comfort for you and your family. But did you know that HVAC systems come in different sizes? So when it's time to replace yours, will you know which size is best for your home? Let's find out. Your heating and air system keeps your family comfortable all year long. So when it's time to replace it, you'll wanna be sure to maintain that comfort in the most energy efficient way possible. There are all different sizes of HVAC units out there and knowing which size to get for your home can be tricky. You'll need to get one that's big enough to efficiently heat and cool your home, but on the other hand, not so big that you're wasting energy and losing money. Hi, I'm Carrie with EPB, and today we're going to explore why HVAC size matters and discover which factors determine the right size unit for your home. Let's learn more about HVAC units with a leading expert on the EPB Energy Pros team, Ron Jones. Hi, Ron. Hello, Carrie. Okay, Ron, what's the first thing that we need to know when choosing a new HVAC unit? Well, first you need to know how many BTUs it would take to heat and cool a home. A BTU is just a standard measurement of checking for heating and cooling. Okay. Of course, obviously, the larger the home, the more BTUs that you would need. Mm -hmm. Now, a good rule of thumb is to have a unit that will give you 10% plus or minus of what you need. So how does a contractor determine how many BTUs my home needs? Well, as you would think, your home is unique. So that's why a contractor performs what we call a manual J load calculation. Okay. Now he takes under consideration the square footage of the home, how many people live there, how many windows, how many doors, how much insulation. And now for new homes, it's required on the building permit. So how does a contractor determine the HVAC size using the manual J load calculation? Well, you need one ton unit for every 12,000 BTUs. So if you need 36,000 BTUs, you would need a three ton unit. Okay. That's not too big nor too small. So why not just get the biggest size HVAC out there? Well, Carrie, that's really not a good idea when we're looking at energy efficiency because a larger unit will heat and cool your home quicker and then shut off and that's called short cycling. And those frequent cycling will not allow it to dehumidify properly. That is good to know. So I've seen homes with two HVAC units. Are there advantages to having two? There is an advantage in having two. And you find that often in older homes that have two floors where it's harder to keep the temperature balanced. Having two units, you can set both thermostats and adjust them to where you can balance out in the home. So it sounds like one larger unit might be less expensive than two units, right? Well, actually, when you consider the cost and the energy savings, it's actually not that much difference when you look at it over a period of time. And then the fact that with two units, if one wants to go out, you still have something until you can get that one repaired. Okay, thanks, Ron. There's a lot to consider, but our EPB Energy Pros are there to help, right, in making this decision of what's best for your home. Yes, just give us a call and we're glad to come out and look at and give whatever advice we need to do, and it's free. Thanks, Ron. Like Ron said, your EPB Energy Pros will be glad to answer any other questions you have about HVACs or anything else energy related. Just give us a call for your free EPB Energy Pros consultation. And be sure to watch our other videos in this series to learn more about this and other energy related topics. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.